What's going on guys? So unfortunately I could not make it to CES this year. Definitely a goal of mine next year, but I did get to go check out the Smart Columbus Experience Center uh, here where I live earlier this week. So I'm gonna talk about that today. So I got a chance to check out the space along with the Drive Electric Columbus Group, uh, which is basically a collection of electric car drivers in the Columbus area. So big thanks to the staff for inviting us down and having us for a good evening. So if you remember back in my BMW 530e video, I'll link that above if you wanna check that out. I talked a little bit about Smart Columbus and I just kinda of wanna recap of what that is. So basically, the U.S. Department of Transportation gave out a $40 million grant to any a city in America to basically work on creating a smart city. And fortunately, Columbus, Ohio was the winner there. So they got that $40 million and then got an additional $10 million through a grant. So with that money, they're doing a lot of cool things. One thing they're working on is creating an OS system for a smart city so traffic lights and cars and bikes would all be interacting together uh, to function in this smart city so they're working on that they've also built a self-driving shuttle that actually goes around the building and does a little route downtown unfortunately i did not get to check that out because of the ice as with any autonomous vehicle the environment is everything so if the conditions aren't ideal it wasn't able to drive but I am planning to make a return trip and check that out. So this experience center basically functions as an event center and just a visitor center to, for people to come check out what Smart Columbus is working on, as well as an office part in the back where they're actually doing some of the work. So it is open seven days a week. So if you're in the Columbus area, I definitely encourage you to go check it out. They've got a lot of cool things there. I'm gonna talk a little bit about what I saw, but obviously they've got a lot more. So when you first walk up to the building, it definitely pops out. It's got these LED lights on the exterior of the building. It's all black, definitely looks futuristic, uh, and definitely uh, draws your eye. Then when you walk inside, you're greeted with about four electric vehicles that I could count. They've got a BMW i3. They've got a Ford Ojo, which I guess is Ford's electric scooter they're working on. I actually haven't heard a lot about that. Uh, they've got a Honda Clarity sitting there as well, which is a plug-in hybrid, and then they've got a Zero motorcycle as well. And we also got to check out their garage where their, all their vehicles are charging and those shuttles I mentioned as well. One thing they also do along with their shuttle rides is they'll actually give test drives with these electric vehicles. So if you do visit the Experience Center, definitely try to take a test drive in an electric vehicle. So while we were there, we also got a little rundown of what Smart Columbus is doing to increase EV adoption in the Ohio area. So first off is just educating the public about electric vehicles. Uh, as these are moving to more mass market, I think it's very important that people understand how electric vehicles work, how practical they actually are to drive. I think there's still a little bit of a stigma there about not having enough range, that sort of thing. Uh, so just educating the public about their options with electric vehicles and what day-to-day -day life is like when you're driving one. So to go along with that, they're actually working with dealerships in the Ohio area to make them what they call an electrified dealer. What this means is they're actually very educated on electric vehicles and aren't going to push people towards gas vehicles, definitely going to give them options in terms of their next vehicle. So if you've noticed, manufacturers of gas cars are not necessarily going to say that their electric vehicle they make is better than their gas vehicles. And that's plainly because they sell more gas vehicles and those are what are going to make them the most profit. So by creating these electrified dealers, it's going to give the public better options and make them more educated on their options when it comes to finding their vehicle. And these dealerships aren't going to push somebody away from an electric vehicle because they've got uh, gas cars sitting there that they'll say are better. So if you want to get a list of the electrified dealers in Columbus, definitely check out their website and they've got a lot of, of other information there about the other initiatives they have. So once someone's been educated about an electric car, possibly been sold one by an electrified dealer, the next step there is creating places to charge it. And they're doing this in a couple ways. One way is they're actually reaching out to workplaces and making sure they have charging stations in place. 
So, and they told us 35 major companies in the Columbus area now have EV chargers at their offices. Fortunately, at my office, they do have chargers. So when I do get an electric car, I will be able to charge it there, which is really convenient. One thing they're also working on is creating fast charging corridors, which are basically strings of electric chargers along major highways, so that when you're traveling, you're able to pull over and charge and get a lot of range in a short amount of time. And I think we'll see that as the technology progresses, they're gonna get closer and closer to like a five minute window, like a gas car does. And I think that's kind of the end goal with electric cars, be able to pull over like in a gas station, plug in for less than five minutes and have your charge completely full. So the last thing they mentioned, and this may be the biggest one, is working with policymakers to make electric cars more feasible. So as with any new product, as it moves into the market and pushes old technology out, people are going to get scared and lobbyists are going to start working to try to keep those uh, newcomers out of the market. One example they mentioned is an EV sticker tax. Uh, basically, when you register your car, you're going to have to pay an extra fee so that you can pay for road work being done. Currently, this is done with a gas tax, but with EVs, they don't use gas. So kind of the conversation is, how are we going to make these EVs pay for the roads that they're driving on, but not necessarily paying for? So definitely some conversation there, but they're working with policymakers to make sure that EVs don't get just completely pushed out of this market. So their kind of end goal with all this is to increase EV adoption by 500%. And that may seem like a lot, but back in 2017 when the grant period started, they were at about 0.37% of new vehicles being sold were electric. So their goal is about 1.8% of new vehicles. And with the numbers they showed us at the meeting, they're getting very close to that, if not surpassed it already just two years into the grant period. Uh, which lasts three years. So very impressive stuff there that they were able to accomplish that much in such a short a period of time. One thing I did ask the staff when we were there is what's going to happen when this grant period is over. It's going to expire at the end of this year. So kind of what's going to happen with everything. And one thing they said is that they have a lot of intellectual property and other companies that have actually helped donate to this program. So a lot of those companies are going to kind of absorb that uh, intellectual property just because they've been helping work on it. So time will definitely tell what happens with all this Smart Columbus stuff, but they're working on a lot of incredible things here and definitely a program I would like to see in other cities in America. I'm not really sure if others like this are going on, uh, but definitely needs to happen if it isn't already. Like I said earlier, definitely check out their website. I'll have it linked below in the description. There you'll learn a lot more information about what they're working on and what the future of a smart city will look like. So thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you guys in the next video.